Hello friends, welcome. In this video, we are going to create the relationships between the models and also working with migrations. So we need to add fields to the migrations. But let's start with migration first. So I'm going to open the nodes in here and the VS code right here. And let's go in, in the database migration, open the migration, and this one is country. Countries has the country code and the name. So let's come here and let's say dollar sign table. For the country code, I'm going to add a char and say country code. Okay, next one we have the name. For the name, I'm going to add the string. So dollar sign table, string, and let's say name here. Okay, save. And as you can see, I have a autocomplete because I have installed the extension. Let me check. Tab 9. So this extension, this uh, allow me to autocomplete the code here. Okay, now let's go in the next one, which is state. And in the state, we need the country ID and the name. For country ID, I'm going to add table origin ID and add country id here and also say constraint and i want uh, when we delete the country i want to delete also the the state belong to the country so i'm going to say on uh, cascade on delete like this okay and now add the name dollar sign table string for the name okay the next one is the city now for the city we need the state id and the name so let's say dollar sign table origin id for the state ID, say constraint and also cascade on delete as well. And the name dollar sign table string for the name. Good, save, open another one which is the departments for department we need only the name as you as we can see here so let's say dollar sign table string name okay save it close and now let's open the employees here we have the all the fields so first name, last name, address. I'm going to add first the uh, relationship. So let's say here, dollar sign table. Origin ID. Country ID. Okay, say constraint. and cascade on delete. Okay, now let's copy that, duplicate it. Change the country to be state ID. 
okay we have the state city and a city here city like this okay and the department so duplicate again change the state to be city and one more time to be this is going to be city and this one is going to be department okay now we have all the relationship let's add the first name last name address so the last line table i'm going to say string for them string for the first and i'm going to say first underscore name dollar sign table string last name very good now we need the address dollar sign table string address okay next one is the zip code birth date and date hired so let's say for the zip code i'm going to say char and add zip underscore code okay next one is the birth date it's going to be date table date and i'm going to say birth underscore date like this or the same so let's say the last sign table date and this one is for the date hired and i think we are okay let's save this and let's run the artisan so artisan migrate hit enter and we have the tables in our database if i open the table plus okay open this one and we have uh, filament employees open that and yeah cities countries department employees and here is the structure okay now we work with migration okay now let's make a relationship and I'm going to come here, open that uh, VS code. Sorry for that. And let's open the models one by one. So first I'm going to open the city here because it's the first one. And let's add the protected dollar sign fillable, which is going to be not false, but an array with uh, state id and the name so let's say state underscore id and the name okay next one let's create the relationship for the city now has this state id so city with state and i'm going to say function sorry i think we have this public function okay public function state and here we are going to return dollar sign this now the city is going to belong to the state so belong to state okay state class very good and now city has many employees because the employee has the city id here so let's say public function and function like this employees and here we need to return dollar sign this as many employee class 
Okay. Now I'm going to copy this one because this I'm going to add in the state country department. So let's close now the city and let's open the country. Also in the country we need to say protected dollar sign fillable. Which is going to be an array with the country code and name. So country code and also the name. Okay, next I'm going to paste that employees because also the, seat, the country has many employees. Next, let's say the state here and country has many state. I'm going to paste that employees and just change this to say states. Okay and return this has many state class okay save that so now this country has many employees and also has many states very good next one department department it's going to be protected for only the name dollar sign fillable and has only name and also the department has many employees okay save that close open now the employee employee is going to be with many fields so protected dollar sign fillable And I need to write it correctly, fillable. And we need first, okay, first name, last name, address. Okay, uh, we have state ID and also the city ID here. Country ID. Okay. Next is the department ID and let's say I'm going to do like this so we have the department state country city and now we need the zip code, birth date, and date hired. So zip underscore code, birth date, and the date hired. Okay. Now let's create the relationship functions. So function for the country and let's say the return dollar sign this to the country class. Okay, the same thing for the state city and department so function for state and return dollar sign this belong to the state very good 
create also the function for the city and the return this belongs to the city and the last one for the department return dollar sign this belongs to the department okay friends now we have everything correctly in the next video we need to work with the filament resources i hope you enjoy and if you like a content like this don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video and share with your friends all the best and see you in the next one thank you very much